A while back, I 3D printed these patterns for Keith Rucker so he could send them out to be cast in iron. And I had a few of the test patterns left over, so I'm going to do some fun destructive testing to see how this new glue sticks to PLA. All right, now we're going to have some fun. I bought this glue a little while ago, and I found it's been working pretty good to glue up this uh, PLA 3D printing filament from Affinia. So we're going to give a little test here. If you've watched Keith Rucker's YouTube videos, you've seen that he made a part that's like this. It's smaller, and he's going to cast it in cast iron. But he sent this up to me, and I drew that in SolidWorks. And then I 3D printed out some of these. These are two parts that I glued together just for the fun of it. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do a little destructive testing today. And I actually drew in how he's going to machine them. So obviously these are too big because we scaled down the pattern for his item. But I went ahead and 3D printed these just so I could see how it looked before I scaled it down for Keith. But these were perfect parts because they were just a couple I had laying around. So I put just some glue on this. Shoved these together, put them in the vise, held them tight, and they've been sitting out here in the shop in 100 plus degree weather, Fahrenheit that is, degree weather for probably, I don't know, a week and a half or so. Also did a test, same parts, I put the same amount of glue on them, just as everybody knows, the glue expands, this Gorilla Glue, but I wanted to see how much, so I just set these with nothing on top. These... I set them down, put the glue on them, put one of my one, two, three blocks on it, and just set it on there. Not real heavy, just put it on there. And as you can see, there's no gap here. And there's, well, I don't know, probably a 30 thousandths gap there, whatever, maybe 20 thousandths. So we're going to bang all this stuff up, not this, because I'm going to send that back to Keith, and see how strong this stuff is. So let's have some fun. So first, let's take the one that has the gap in it, and I'm just going to give it, bam, broke it. Okay, we're going to use a smaller hammer. Now, so the glue's holding, PLA is breaking, all right, glue is holding. That's a good sign. We're breaking the PLA before we're breaking the glue. I'm not even seeing any, well, possibly a gap, but not very much. Nope. All right. Okay, we have safety glasses on, so we're going to give this, try not to break our fingers. We'll go this way. Alright, finally got it to break. There was very little glue on there. And we basically destroyed a lot of it. So for making patterns and sticking items together where I'm going to be using the dovetail notches and stuff, I think this glue is going to go ahead and work for me pretty good. Uh, next video I'll probably show you how we made Keith's next pattern with the dovetail notches and stuff. So that was just for fun. Seeing if this glue would work. Seems to work pretty glue. This PLA is really hard to find stuff that'll glue good to it. So if you know of a glue that works really good, send me a note. Let me know because I've tested maybe 10 different glues and most of them I can just give them a little tap with a hammer and they'll break right apart. But this seems to be holding pretty good. And I put a very thin layer on here. Very little. So that worked pretty good. So test done.